Go. I'm just kidding. Hey, welcome to the first week of remote training in Mr. Awesome's class. Uh, remember, I'm Mr. Awesome because I can't even say my own name. Thanks to you guys for this cool rule. Uh, week two, we're going to do our remote learning this week. We're going to do very little assignments because I understand that we're still getting used to the technology and we're working, so, uh, working through some of these issues that we have. And that's okay. We'll get them fixed. We're, as long as you guys have patience with me and presume positive intention on my behalf, I'm going to do the same for you guys. So we're, we'll work through it as a team because that's what we are, okay? So week two is August 24th through the 28th. Uh, we have two assignments, not one, but two. Everybody do me a favor. I want you to hold up two fingers. I'll wait for you. All right, two fingers. We have two assignments that are have to be done by this Friday. I will adjust infinite campus. If you've already been in there, we're going to adjust that and we're going to have these two assignments. These are your two assignments. The first thing I want you to do is an about me poem. So about me poem at the top of your page, I just want you to write who it's from, right? Because when you, when you submit it, I need to know who it's from. So mine would say, this is Mr. Samora's about me poem. Wait a minute. Rules. All right. Thanks for that. I'm going to get in shape before the end of the year. This is ridiculous. We're going to have to change those rules. All right. So it would say Mr. Awesome's about me poem. And I prompted you guys in there. You're not going to write a poem in the traditional sense. There's a worksheet. I'll put that up on the screen here in just a second. But I want you guys to fill out that worksheet. And then after you get done with that, I want you to open up a Word document, a Word document, a Word document. One more time, a Word document. And we're going to do it in MLA format. And I want you to do a one paragraph that explains your poem. I want you to use descriptive language and tell me why you made the choices that you made. Now, in Mr. Awesome's class, a, po or a paragraph is five to eight sentences. Anything less than that loses points, okay? Five to eight sentences. So can you go ahead and bring up a, an About Me poem, please? So in that About Me poem, what I am talking about is something that looks like this. You guys should see it on your screens now. And on the bottom of this, all I need you guys to do is put your names so I know for sure who it's coming from. All right, so on the About Me poem, if you look at the first line, you will see that it says, uh, this is, I am, and you will put something about yourself. And then the next one is going to be, I wonder. And you're going to follow those, those prompts that are on the page. And we're going to continue that. Now, when you do the MLA format, when you do the MLA format, that's what I need you guys to look at now. So on your screen, you will see an MLA format. Why did you? Okay. All right. One more. Here we go again. I, I think Mr. Moore did that on purpose. Uh, that's okay, though. I'll get in shape. Um, so the About Me poem. Uh, when you do your paragraph, this is what it should look like. Notice on your screen you have the MLA format, and it is your first name, then your last name. Underneath that, you're going to put your grade level English. So if I am in sixth grade English, it will say sixth English. If I'm seventh, it will say seventh English, eighth, eighth English. So first name, last name. Underneath it, you will have your grade level English, six, seven, or eight English. Then you will put your instructor. It is not against the rules to write my name, so you can go ahead and write Mr. Awesome there if you choose. And then down below that, you will do your date. Then I want you to hit enter one time, and you will hit tab, the tab key. That is in your upper left, and you will go ahead and start typing on that document, and that is where you will write your 528 sentences. You can come back to me now if you will. So that is what we're going to do for our first week for remote learning. Uh, I will be sending you guys some stuff out um, over email. Now, I know we're working through some technical stuff. That's okay. Um, when we get through it, I will be sending you guys emails, letting you know how to communicate with me, what we need to do. Um, there will be a quiz this week come Friday. Don't worry. It's going to be three questions. Everybody hold up three fingers. One, two, and three. It's going to be very easy. The three things that I'm going to ask you to do are what is the first thing you do when you come in my classroom, the second thing you do when you come in my classroom, and the third thing. So I will give you a refresher. The first thing you're going to do is look up on the, object, the objectives board, which is on my left, your right, when you walk in the classroom. Uh, and the reason we do that is that tells us what we need out for the day. The second thing we're going to look at 
is bell work because that lets us know what we need to work on right now. And then the third thing we're gonna look at is the assignment board because that tells you when something is going to be due, okay? So now if we can, could you bring up my syllabus for me, please? Now on the syllabus, what I wanted to do is kind of talk you guys through the syllabus here. Um, on my syllabus, you'll notice that I have put on there before class begins. This is just kind of what you guys are gonna do during the day. Your bell work is on there as well. Um, during class, if you can scroll down a little for me. During class, it says that I do grade on participation. That means we have to participate in all group stuff. We don't opt out when somebody's calling on, you know, when you're called on. We do not make call outs, but I wanted to make a special note here of when we are participating in a remote environment, that means when you are remote and you are on a computer or a device, your screen is muted. That means that I don't have to see a picture of you. In fact, I would rather not. Uh, that makes it easy for me. There will be times when I ask, you know, for you to show me something or show me your screen. Uh, and I'll, I will teach you guys how to do that. But for the most part, our screen is off and we are muted. When you have a question, you will raise your hand by pushing the button that says raise hand. And someone in my class will get to you and they will stop me and I will address that question. Um, at the end of class, again, it's one more time that is an opportunity for you guys to look at the assignment board and to tell me or to write down any questions that you have uh, and get with me about your assignments. But more importantly, it's to look at your digital planner or your hard copy planner and to write what your assignments are. This will keep you on task because again, I told you guys in my class, I'm going to treat you like adults. You guys are not gonna get treated like kids. That means that you guys aren't gonna get constant reminders. Uh, and remember, the last thing that I wanna talk about in the syllabus, if you will scroll, scroll to it please, is the late homework policy. So in Mr. Awesome's class, we do a homework resolution page if it is late. That means that you will have a parent or guardian sign letting me know why your homework is late and what we are going to do to resolve that. This isn't to punish you, this is to let me know if there's something that I might do that can help you. So the late work policy this year is if you are late on an assignment in middle school, you lose 25% on the first class period. So if parents and guardians are watching this, that's awesome. Hello, how are you? I'm Mr. Awesome. Um, if they're one class period late, so we're gonna assume that they have class Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? If the assignment was due Monday, they don't turn it in. They have until Wednesday to turn that assignment in because that is the next time they have that class. However, they do lose 25% of the points that they would have earned come that date. So the max they can score is a 75 if they're one class period late. If they're two class periods late, they will lose 50%, 50%. And then if any time after that, it is a zero. I have told all the students, and hopefully I have some parents and guardians watching this, um, I have told all your students that it is still very important to turn in an assignment even if you're going to get a zero on it because I do allow test retakes. However, I only allow a test retake if all assignments have been turned in. You can't have a zero and retake a test. So if they miss, if they fail a test in my class, they have one class period to tell me they want to retake. And at that time, they need to have turned in all of their missing assignments. If they do that, we're gonna be good. I'll let them retake the test. And whichever one of those two grades is the highest, I will go ahead and record that grade into the grade book. So that is going to be me for the, first, for the first week of remote learning. I look forward to seeing you guys in class. I know the online stuff can be a little bit confusing. That's okay, it's confusing for us too. We will work through it together. I'm not going to just inundate you, which means I'm not going to give you a whole bunch of work um, just to keep you busy. We will start reading our novel, but we're gonna push that back one week, okay? So what Infinis Campus says right now is next week we should start reading our novel. Unfortunately, uh, we had a couple of students that either didn't get their novel or <laughs> forgot their novel here. So that wouldn't be very beneficial and I don't wanna have any students behind. So we're just gonna wipe that slate clean and we're gonna start the following week reading our novel and this week, we're gonna start working on the About Me poem, and we're gonna do the paragraph 
and we're going to have one quiz on Friday. Quiz will have three questions. One more time. It will be the first thing you do when you come in my classroom, which is look at the daily objectives. The second thing you do when you're in my classroom is you're going to look at bell work. And the third thing you're going to do is update your planner with the assignment board. Uh, this is Mr. Awesome signing out. I can't wait to see you guys all in person and online. Uh, if you have any issues, please feel free to email me.